Hey guys, it's Circuit Lord here. So today I've made a Minecraft mod called Reactive Music. And basically it kind of does what it says on the tin. It plays custom music based on like what's happening in the environment around you. Um, so as you can see right here, I'm like in a forest, you know, we got some, some kind of chill forest vibes. Uh, but if I head over here to the nether, you hear the music start fading out. And then we got some like kind of somber music, you know. But the cool thing about reactive music is that I've just added custom song packs. So people can go into the settings here and you can click or you can you can choose what song pack you want. Um, so there's there's one included by default. This is uh, this is what I'm calling Adventure Redefined, which is the default song pack. Um, but anyone can make their own song pack, upload it to Curse Forge, and then include it in like their mod pack or people just want to download it manually. Um, so today I'm going to show you how you can make your own song pack. All right, so the first thing you want to do, I mean, should be pretty obvious, uh, is you want to get some music, and they need to be MP3 files. So you can see I got a couple right here, just, just some random files out of my computer. Um, it's not going to be like a coherent song pack, but that's fine. Um, so then what you want to do is you want to download the song pack template. Um, so there will be a link for this in the description. I got a GitHub page that kind of walks you through how to make a song pack, um, but this I figured this video is probably more helpful than this. Um, so there's a button right here, download here. We're just gonna download that bad boy. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is head over to your resource pack. So let's open our resource pack folder. And we're just gonna drag in the song pack template, put it in here, and that'll just work immediately. Um, but obviously we wanna be able to add our own song. So what we're gonna do is we're going to extract all, and we'll extract that. And then you can just go ahead and delete the zip file. We're not gonna need that anymore. Um, and let's go ahead and change the name of the song pack to what we want to make it. So let's say this is the YouTube song pack. Cool. And you can see we got two things in here. We got the YAML configuration file. This is where you're going to configure all your songs. And we have the music folder, which just has all the music files. Um, so I've included some here by default just to like help you understand how it works. Um, we can leave those there for now, but we're going to put in our new songs. Let me just copy those in there. And you want to give these like simpler names that like they don't have special characters or whatever. So maybe this one I would just do like Terraria alternate day. And maybe this one is just, we just call it Sans. Like, all right, so now we're going to want to open our YAML configuration file. Um, and I would recommend using like VS Code or something. You can use Notepad, but VS Code will make it a lot easier to do. Um, so as you can see here, we got some properties at the top. We got the name, so we're just gonna let's go ahead and change that right away. So YouTube pack, and it's important that this name is unique to your pack. Like you don't want to you don't want to have the same name as someone else because then it'll cause all sorts of weird issues. Um, you can put in the author description and credits. That stuff doesn't really matter, but you can just put it to whatever you want. Uh, but entries is where stuff is gonna start getting interesting here. All right, so the basic thing to understand is that an entry basically defines, it defines an event and it defines the music that plays during that event. So we have the most simple one up here, just the event is main menu. Um, and I've got all the events on the, week, on the wiki over here so you can see what you can put. And the songs it's set to play is clarity. And if we go back to that music folder, you can see there's a clarity song in here. So the mod will look for that and it'll, it'll load it whenever the main menu happens. Uh, and we'll just skip over these two parameters for now. Um, so then we have Underwater, and it plays the song called Eventide. Uh, and then we have Nether. So something interesting here is that you can define multiple songs. So if I wanted to define another song, I would put um, one of these dashes or whatever they're called. And I would say, like, oh, I want to play Staff Roll, which is another song that's in my it's in my folder here, Staff Roll.mp3. And then the, the mod will automatically pick one of these at random, and it'll try to pick a song that it hasn't played recently, um, but it, it handles all that for you. You don't have to worry about that. So then the next interesting thing is that we can also do multiple events. So if we want a song to play well, like while you're in a mountain biome and it has to be daytime, then you would put it like this. And I could add, I could add more conditions here too. I could also do like, um, I could add like fishing here. Like that would be very, very oddly specific, day mountain and fishing. Um, but the idea is that you can just do whatever you want. So another important thing to note here is that these are processed in the order that you put them in the config file. So at the top of the file, you want to have things that are like more specific. So like men menu, underwater, these are very specific things. And if we go to the bottom, we have day and night, which are like 
pretty that's pretty that's going to happen pretty often uh and the reason you do this is because if i'm underwater i don't want it to be overridden by day like if it's daytime but i'm underwater i want the underwater song to play so that means i put the underwater event higher up um and that's just that applies to all these things here all right so let's start adding some of our own music in here um so i'm going to change this to our staff role song that we have uh in our music folder and then immediately if we go to our game um, give it a second to load. All right, so if we go to our song packs, you can see our YouTube pack is in here, and we can actually just click load on this, and there we go. We got the we got the staff role playing, <laughs> a classic. Um, so I'm gonna actually mute this real quick. I'll put that okay. All right, so a quick explanation: the always play and always stop. These basically define that like if this event happens, should the song start playing immediately? Should it cut off whatever's playing, or does it, or does it let, it, like, as you know, the Minecraft music? If a song is playing, it doesn't typically stop playing. Um, and these are these are basically what define, or they they control if um, if another song or if another event will override the current event. Um, for the main menu, we pretty much always want to switch back to the main menu music. Um, maybe you don't want to switch back, to, um, so you would set these. You would just set these to false. Uh, the default value is false because most music shouldn't do that, but it's up to you. All right, so we're going to add another event here. Um, so let's do events. And what you can also do is you can kind of just like this and do control C to copy, control V, paste that boy, um, and then just change everything. So let's do, let's check our event list here. Um, let's see. I want to do a song when it's raining. Let's, that's, that's, uh, that sounds pretty cool. It should be rain in a forest. Very specific, I know. So let's check our music folder. Um, what do we got in here? We got let's uh, let's use this Terraria Alt Alternate Day. So we're gonna put that in there. Uh, maybe we want to mix it up. We're gonna add two songs in here. Uh, castle theme. Why not? There we go. And then let's add one more. We're gonna do. Let's go to the spacing there. Um, we'll do a song for the end. Um, that's using our end dimension event here. And we'll put the music to be Sans. You know, I feel like Sans is a good end song. Definitely. Um, what we can do here is we can actually just um, we can reload the pack in the game. Um, I should probably add like a reload button or something. I'll do that later. But for now, you can just switch back and forth. That'll reload it. And let's actually turn our music back on, and we'll head <laughs> we'll head into a world so we can test out how these work. Um, so something something that's going to be useful to you is if you open the mod settings and uh, go to debug, there's a debug mode. And basically what this does is, I need to add a better description, but what it does is basically make it so that every time a new event happens, it'll just immediately switch to that new event, um, essentially as if all of the songs had these parameters on them. And that's just useful for when you're making a song pack if you want to be able to test, you want to make sure every event works and you don't have to like wait for the song to finish, that'd be kind of annoying. All right, so let's actually test out a different event here. So let's do weather rain, and we'll give it a second here. There we go. It's playing. Uh, I think that's the castle theme. Um, so that's cool. So let's test out our end. Yeah, I really didn't think this through. This is a very hard to test event, but you know it's fine. All right, we're just gonna a little bit of this, a little bit of speed running, if I do say so myself. All right, let's go in here. And let's see if it changes. We should get some sands here. There it is. It works perfectly. All right, so now I think my song pack is pretty good. I'm going to send it out to the world so everyone can enjoy sands in the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to first oh, I'm going to stop the let me stop this music and I'll turn it off. So we're going to open up our YouTube song pack and select these two files. And I'm using 7zip. I would highly recommend using 7zip. And we're going to click add to archive. So the most important thing here is that you want to make sure your compression level is set to store. Uh, by default, it's probably going to be on fast. And store is very important because if you have it set to anything else, the song pack won't load correctly. It's just like, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's just like, a, it's how the file system lo treats the files. Um, and they need to be uncompressed in order for me to load them into the mod. So yeah, we're just going to zip this up and that should spit out a file here. And yeah, now you can just send out this YouTube song pack to anyone you wanted. Uh, you can upload it to CurseForge as a resource pack, and then when people download it, it'll automatically put it in the resource packs folder. 
and they'll automatically see it on this list of song packs. Um, and if you're a mod creator too, you can change which song pack is loaded by default. Um, so if you want to include a song pack that just plays automatically, then you can also do that. But the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna, actually going to show you how the built-in song pack, which I'm calling Adventure Redefined, um, is set up and give you some tips for how to make your song pack a little bit better. So I've got Adventure Redefined built up here. And the main important thing that I want to note is that it's, it's more important to have a lot of songs for specific events rather than having like very like a ton of like very specific events that only have one song um, because the problem with that is that every time that event happens the same song is going to play the, the whoever's listening to the song pack is probably going to get bored of it so by doing this you you give it a lot more like see daytime i have a ton of songs um so like if, if i don't hit any of these events up here it'll just pick one of these random songs that sounds kind of like it should be at daytime and then it'll just play it. Um, and I have the same thing for night too. So this keeps this keeps the music very varied. Well, that's <laughs> it sounds dumb. And if you ever want to like see how my song back works, you can actually just it's fully open source. Uh, you can just go to the GitHub page, and in this uh, in this specific folder um, is is the built-in music pack, and you can see the songs I have and my configuration file for it. Um, or you can even check out the code if you want to see how something works. But yeah, that's the basics of what you need to know. I've got my Discord down in the description if you want to ask me any questions or request features. Um, this is still something I'm actively working on, and I'll cut, I'll try to keep the the uh, the wiki page up to date with any new stuff I'm adding or make another video, obviously. Um, but yeah, any feedback you have would be great. I um, hope you enjoy making your song pack, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.